morning everyone! Nandito na kami ngayon sa Hongik University Station and we are waiting for our bus tour papunta sa Nami Island, Gangchun Rail Rail Bikes, and sa Garden of the Morning Sun. Medyo maaga kami, kaya sobrang lamig. Negative 3 yung temperature dito sa Seoul today. That's why sobrang balot namin ngayon. So, uh, we purchased our tour sa club through a discounted uh, tickets ulit from club. So, later you'll see those three places that we will visit today. Watch out! The tour that we purchased per cloak is under KK Story, and upon purchasing these tickets, you have to choose from three different pickup locations. First is Hongik University Station, second is Myeongdong Station, and lastly is the Dongdae Moon History and Culture Park Station. For us, we choose Hongik University Station, which is located in Hongdae, since this is the nearest station from our hotel. This is just one station away. Upon arriving at Hongik University Station, you have to look for exit number 4. There are several buses that stop in this location. So, upon arriving, make sure that you look for a staff with a name tag or a banner of a KK story. If you cannot find someone with that, you have to ask the staffs and show them your ticket if it is the correct tour bus that you will be riding. Make sure that you also arrive at least 10 minutes prior to the scheduled departure time because buses here arrive on the dot and they will leave on time as well. When our bus finally arrived, the staff mentioned that we have to transfer to a different bus when it arrived to Myeongdong Station and we will meet our tour guide in that location. At Myeongdong Station, we met our tour guide Phoebe, and she guided us to a new tour bus that we will be using for today's tour. This is a lot fancier and there are only three seats per row which is a lot bigger and more comfortable for the long journey. After passing through the last pickup location of this tour, which is Dongdaemun History and Cultural Park Station, we continue the journey to reach our first destination of the tour, which is the Gangcheon Rail Bike Station. The travel time is almost one hour and a half, and we arrive at the rail park around 11.40 am. Since this is a guided tour, our tour guide is the one who purchased our tickets. And she mentioned that our schedule for riding the rail bike is at 12 noon. Gangcheon Rail Bike operates every day and there is an hour interval of the departure of the sets of bikes. You can choose either two-seater bikes that will cost you 30,000 won as the original price or four-seater bikes which will cost you 40,000 won. Park used to be a train line which is called Mogongwa train that traveled here for 70 years. However, in December 20, 2010, they opened the Gangchun line which is a double track railway line that connects Seoul and Juchon and the Mogongwa train was discontinued. Thank 
video. Bye. Instead of abandoning the railroad, they converted to be the Gongchun Rail Bike, which is now a popular destination for tourists, where in visitors can pedal along the old railroad tracks while taking the lovely sceneries of the mountains, the snowy mountains, the Bukhangang River scenery, and just a refreshing ride within the nature. The departing point is at Kim Yujong Station and it will take you 50 minute rail bike ride. Throughout the rail bike route, you will pass through four tunnels that each decorated in their own way. After the rail bike ride, there will be a 20 minute break time. You can purchase your photos and take some snacks. Afterwards, you will take the romantic train ride that will be for 20 minutes. It will take you to the old Gangchun station. They said that there's a free shuttle bus that will take you to the departing point, which is at Kim Yujong station. But for us, our buses is waiting at the old Gangchun station parking, parking area. So we just need to walk for about 2-3 to three minutes to reach that location. to take note that there is a different departing point and arrival point when you take the rail bike ride. The train is an open air ride so you can take a lot of photos and videos of the snowy part of the mountains as well as the bridges. I recommend that you buy hot snacks or warm drinks before onboarding this train because it's very cold during the winter season. Overall, our experience here in Gangchun Rail Park is amazing. There are breathtaking views of the sceneries, the mountains, even see snow. The Bukhangang River is very lovely. And those tunnels create a different emotions and feelings every time we pass through them. I will really recommend that you try out Gongchun Rail Bike whenever you are in Seoul. So that's our Gongchun Rail Bike experience and I would like to invite everyone to watch out for our next vlog as we share to you our experience in Nami Island and Garden of the Morning Cup. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe to our channel. See you guys!